What's up guys? Welcome back to another daily video here at 88 Rotors Off-Road. Today's video is going to be on two different Tundras that we're doing here, maybe three. Depends on how much time we have to fit in. But let's start off with this Cavalry Blue Tundra that we're doing a body mount chop on to clear some 35 inch tires after we do a lift as well. We're going to be doing a king setup on this one with some Camberg tubular uniball upper control arms, front king coilovers or the 2.5 remote reservoir setup adjusted to about 3 inches of lift. We're gaining about 2 inches of lift in the rear with some lift shackles and dampening it with some 2.5 remote reservoir rear shocks. We have twins today. Up on the other rack, we're also doing another Cavalry Blue Tundra with some King's 2.5 remote reservoir coilovers and shocks with adjusters, camber upper control arms as well, rear lift shackles, body mount chop, and some field vector wheels in an 18 by 9 with a positive 20 offset as you see here wrapped up in a set of BF Goodrich all-terrain KO2 tires. Eighty-eight Rotors is located in the city of South Delmoni, which is about 20 minutes east of downtown Los Angeles in California, USA. If you're looking to get some work done by us, feel free to reach out to us anytime by phone during regular business hours, or you can always message us through the contact form by clicking on the link in the description below. The vehicle is now complete. We're going to bring it out for a quick test drive before we hand the keys back over to the customer.
Here's a quick walk around again. King's 2.5 remote reservoir coilover is adjusted to about 3 inches of lift. Camber tubular uniball upper control arms, fuel shock wheels, and a 18 by 9 with a positive 20 offset and some 35 12 and a half 18 Toyo Open Country RT hybrid tires. Rear lift is achieved by installing a set of lift shackles and a body mount chop was performed to clear the 35 12 and a half tires at full articulation. Swinging back over to its twin that we did on the other lift, this one did a similar setup. This one did go with some King's 2.5 remote reservoir coilovers and shocks with adjusters, front adjusted to about 3 inches of lift with some cambric tubular uniball upper control arms as well. To the next Tundra that we have time to squeeze in, this one's a silver Tundra that we're installing some gunmetal wheels on. These are the field vectors in an 18 by 9 with a plus 20 offset, also wrapping it up in some 35 12 and a half tires. We're doing a body mount shop on here to clear it as well and we're going to be installing some Fox 2.0 IFPs with some cambric tubular uniball upper control arms. Rear lift as usual, like most of the ones we do for Tundras, we're going to be installing some lift shackles. We decided to go with some Nito Ridge Grapplers on this one. This Tundra is now complete. Let's bring it out for a quick test drive before we hand the keys back over to the customer. Here's a Tacoma that we also did today. As this video comes to an end, we'd like to thank all of our subscribers and followers for your support. We truly are blessed to have you with us here on YouTube and other social media platforms and for being our customer. Thank you for blessing us with the business through these difficult times. We hope everyone stays safe. We appreciate the privilege of your time. Please take care of yourselves and your loved ones and together we will hopefully soon get over this pandemic. Until next time, stay clean, stay safe, and take care guys.